to be united in love with Jesus. And, and, I was, and as I go a little further, I was looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4. It said, Love suffers long and is kind. Love envieth not. Love does not push itself forward. Love is not puffed up. Love does not behave itself unseemly. Love seeketh not its own. It love is not easily provoked. Love thinketh no evil. Rejoice not in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. Bear all things, believe in all things, hope in all things, endure in all things. Love never fails. Whether it be prophecy, they shall fail. Whether it be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which in part shall be done away. So God is telling us that we must have love. Why? Love is not just speaking it with your mouth. But love is an action word. Just like faith. Faith without works is dead. But faith with action can move mountains. So when we say that we have love, we need to demonstrate love. We don't need to just talk about love. We need to show love. Love is what? Patient. Love is what? Enduring. Love is what? Suffering. Just like Jesus, when he went to the cross, he suffered for us. He died for us. But before he died, he got beat up all night long for us. The Bible said he was bruised for our iniquity. And the chastisement of his peace was upon us. But by his stripes, we are healed. We are healed because Jesus demonstrated his love on the way to the cross. Jesus demonstrated his love when he gave his life for us. He gave his life for us that we may have eternal life to him that believe in the name of Jesus with a sincere heart, a, a right kind of mind, the right kind of spirit. We as Christians today must demonstrate the same kind of love that Jesus has demonstrated. He gave us a perfect example, hallelujah, in his word of how we should act, how we should think, how we should speak, how we should walk. The Bible says walk in the light, hallelujah, as he's in the light. The Lord wants us uh, to demonstrate his love, uh, demonstrate action, uh, and not just speak words. The Bible is clear that if you love, perfect love cast away all fear. Perfect love covers the multitude of sin. Perfect love suffers long. Perfect love is patient. Let us today put on the armor of God. Let us today put on the armor of love. Let us today put on the mind of Christ. Let us today put on his word. Let us today show love in the Holy Ghost. Let us today show love in our actions. Let us today walk in love. Let us today talk in love. Let us today be in love. Let us today demonstrate in love, in our actions, in our words, in our thoughts, in our whatever we do. Let us do it in love. If you say you love somebody, show them. Don't just say it. As they used to say, don't just say it, but do it. Action speaks louder than words. Hallelujah. Don't behave yourself uh, unwise. Don't seek your own. Don't be provoked easy. Because why? Love think of no evil. Rejoice not in sin, but rejoice in the truth. So the Lord wants us to what? Have love. Love never what? Fails. 
but everything else fails. And when there's love, it never fails. Hallelujah. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Lift them up. Hallelujah. Let's give God the glory for his love. Hallelujah. So let's go to 1 Corinthians 13 and 13. And all these three, three remain faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is what? Is love. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient. Bear one another in love. Above all, uh, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. And that's found in 1 Peter 4 and 8. So let's go to John 4 and 7. Dear friends, let us love one another. For love comes from God. Everyone who has love has been born of God and knows God. 1 John 14, 18 through 19. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. We love because he first loved us. John 15 and 13. Greater love has no man than this. He that to lay down his life for his friends. Ephesians 5 and 25. Husbands, love your wife, just as Christ loved the church and gave herself for her. Ephesians 5 and 33. However, each one of you must show love his wife, even as he loves himself, for the wife must respect her husband. Uh, Colossians 3 and 14. And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Proverbs 10 and 12. Hatred stirs up decision, but love covers all wrong. Proverbs 17 and 7. For a friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. John, 6, John 3, 16 to 18. This is how we know what is love. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, as we ought to lay down our life for our brothers. Anyone has material vision sees his brother in need, but has no pity on him. How can we say the love of God be him? Dear children, let us not be with, with, with words or tongue, but with actions and truth. John 4 and 8. Whoever does not uh, know God, because he is love. Hallelujah. I gave you all those scriptures of love. Today is the day that we need to be united in love with Jesus Christ. If we're in Christ, we're going to what? Demonstrate love. If we're in Christ, we're going to be patient. If we're in Christ, we're going to love our wives as Christ loved the church. If we're in love, we're going to help those ones that have a need. If we're in love, we're not going to shut up our bowels of compassion to anyone. If we're in love, we're going to love our enemies. If we're in love, we're going to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. If we're in love, it's going to cast away all the multitude, cover the multitudes of sin. If we're in love, we're going to suffer long. If we're in love, we're going to be patient. We're going to be kind. We're going to have joy. We're going to have peace. We're going to have the mind of Christ. If we demonstrate the love of Jesus Christ, we need today to demonstrate the love, the love of Jesus Christ. We need today to demonstrate love in the things that we do and not in the things that we say. We need to demonstrate love in our hearts and our minds and our spirit. That way the love of Christ is coming out of us in the name of Jesus. We must have love. Hallelujah. It is important today. That we have love. It is important today that we don't demonstrate hatred like they did to Jesus at the cross. So today, remember this. Be united in the love of Jesus Christ. Take this message. Put it on. Be blessed. And may God smile upon you. I'm going to ask that we put our mind on Jesus. As I close out and remember the love of the Lord. I thank you for the message. And I pray, Heavenly Father, that I touch every ear to hear this message. That we take the word of God marinated in our hearts and our souls. And in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. May God be with you. Amen. And God bless you. Tune in again for another exciting episode. 
краткосрочного отмотка.